Hey everyone, Julia from Sunday Sounds here. Let's take a look at our patch designed in the style of We Praise You, as originally performed by Matt Redman. We play this song in its original key of A and at its original tempo of 82 BPM. This patch has several arps, synths, and pads all triggered in the left hand range, which will stretch from here up to here. Your left hand will play octaves for most of the song, dropping the single notes in the lowest octave for just the bridge. The right hand will play some synth riffs and lead lines in the mid and higher ranges of the keyboard. The primary lead is played up here. And the synth riffs can be played anywhere down in this range. At the bottom of the mod wheel, there are arps and pads, all which increase in volume as the mod wheel increases. For the right hand synth, the filter will open up as you increase the mod wheel. intro you'll have the mod wheel at 50%. You'll play octaves in the left hand and a synth lead in the right hand. In the recording there's a slight fade into the song with some arps before the drums and the rest of the band comes in. If you'd like to do this you can play the note of your key in the highest octave in your left hand range and then just hold it as you fade in your volume for eight counts. Once the band comes in, you'll play the full octaves and synth lead. I'll play the right hand lead line for you slowly. You'll also want to notice that the chord progression in the intro changes in the second half of it. Here's the whole intro with both hands. For the down verse, you'll have the mod wheel at zero. You'll play octaves in your left hand, and halfway through, your right hand will come in with an abbreviated version of that synth lead from the intro. This part matches the vocal line, so it should be pretty easy to match up. Here's what the verse will sound like with both hands. The second verse will also be a down verse and you'll play it the exact same way. If you want to get a slight build between the verses back to back, which I sometimes like to do, you can play a low octave single notes for the first time and full octaves the second time. By bringing in the upper octave, you bring in some higher arps that fill out the sound.
for the medium verse or verse three, I like to bump the mod wheel up to about 25%, which brings in a few new ARPs and opens up the filters of existing sounds a bit. You'll want to play octaves in your left hand and that same abbreviated synth lead in your right hand. Here's this verse with both hands. Every chorus you'll have the mod wheel at 50%. You'll play octaves in your left hand and a synth riff in your right hand. You have freedom here to play any riff that you'd like, but I like to follow the melody line when I play. Here's what I like to play in my right hand. Here's what the chorus will sound like with both hands. The second time you play the chorus will be the exact same as the first. And for the final chorus, you'll play everything the exact same way, except you'll have the mod wheel at 100. Here's what this chorus will sound like. For the down bridge, you'll have the mod wheel at zero. You'll play single notes in the lowest octave of your left hand, and you'll go through the bridge two times. Your right hand won't do anything. Also, before the bridge starts, there's a short section called vamp. This is just the instrumental version of the bridge chord progression played one time through, and you'll play this the same way as the down bridge, just single notes in the low octave. I also like to bump the mod wheel up slightly as I play through each bridge to make a gradual increase in volume and texture. For the medium bridge, you'll end up having the mod wheel at 50 when you start it. You'll play the left hand the same way, single octave low notes, and gradually increase the mod wheel. This will also be two times through the bridge. I also like to add in a synth riff during this medium bridge. I'll play that slowly for you.
Raise the entire bridge with both hands. The refrain shows up several times throughout the song, after each chorus. Every time you play the refrain, you'll play octaves in your left hand and the synth lead in your right hand. However, the chord progression changes slightly each time you play it. The first time through the refrain, the chord progression is the same as the second half of the intro. I'll play just this for you. The second time the refrain shows up, the chord progression changes a bit. It is twice as long as the first time and there are some chords added for interest. Here's that refrain. The final time you play the refrain, which is at the very end, the chord progression changes again. This time is just as long as the second time, but again the chords are slightly different. The refrain is also at 100 on the mod wheel for this one. Be sure to check out the demo to see how I move the mod wheel between all these sections and build the intensity of the song. Now just to review the different mod wheel positions, all the way down at zero will be your down verses, your vamp section, and your down bridge. About 25% is where I like to increase the medium verse. About 50% will be your intro, the choruses, the refrain, and the medium bridge, and that's also where you start your song. And then all the way at 100 is your final chorus and your big refrain. Now, before I let you go, I wanted to let you know that there's a Facebook group called Sunday Sounds Insiders, where you can find break photos, sneak peeks, behind the scenes videos, giveaways, and so much more. It would be awesome to see you in there. Until then, I'm Julia with Sunday Sounds. I'll see you next time.